What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Newsday Tuesday. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And we've got some... Well, it's been a slow news week. Yeah, it sure has. Well, we've got a few articles, and you know, as always, we've got some channel updates. Uh, technical difficulties that we experienced all last week. Uh, we had a couple of them come back, but we called them early. I think we got the issue resolved. Yeah. Unfortunately, we did lose a couple of things. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty bad. I know Will had some technical difficulties Sunday when he was in the Talking Point studio helping me record. He was, he was recording his uh, audio for his Let's Play. Needless to say, it kept corrupting on him, so... <clears throat> she, she was buzzing around my house a lot. Yeah, and... Yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah, but it's, anytime you're working with technology, we're working through it, and you know, got new equipment coming, more powerful equipment coming. Oh yeah, so I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be brilliant when when we finally get that and not have to worry about this anymore. Because it's it's terrible just how many times we've you know been playing along, having a great time, and all of a sudden you look over and the capture be frozen. <laughs> Josh's fun. response is like, "Well, I hope you weren't enjoying that." <laughs> So, yeah, that's, we finally got that issue resolved. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. And yeah, I'm not speaking too soon, so, you uh, know. So, that's... Other channel news, um... Anything going on with TOC Kids, or was that kind of a slow mm -hmm. week this week? Uh, nah, there's nothing new with TOC Kids, uh... I felt like asking, because I've had people asking me, when's the next one coming out? Apparently, they're more popular than we are at this point. I don't know. Maddie's a little diva, so she's like, I don't feel like it right now. Mm. <laughs> she takes after you. You have, you have to meet my demands first. So she needs a, she needs a deli meat tray and, and a bowl of nothing but green M&Ms. And... <laughs> yeah. Uh, the cold cut combo, <laughs> you know, from Subway. That's the only one. But uh, other news, and I mentioned this in Saturday's episode of Banjo-Kazooie, uh, that we're stocking up some footage as long as the technical difficulty fairy leaves us the fuck alone. We've got your number there, technical difficulty fairy. We don't have your name, but we have your number. But we try to keep footage, you know, on a pretty much day-to-day -day basis so that we're relevant. And, you know, other channels, they do it where, you know, they stock footage for like six months in advance. And, you know, that's fine for them, but we don't like to do it that way, at least not yet. No, we like to keep it fresh for you. You know, we're we're not like we're not like Tyson Chicken. We're like the Chicken Farm. So yeah, but we're having to stock some footage right now because there are a couple of weeks in April. Uh, there's one week that Aaron won't be able to make it into the studio. Yeah, I get and, I get to be a chaperone. Yay! And then there's a couple of weeks later, I won't be able to make it into the studio. Yeah, you get to blink and miss a whole state. Yeah. Uh, but I have an idea for like a like a mini series segment that hopefully I'll be able to pull off during that week. So even though I won't be in the studio, there should still be new content going up, plus the content that we're stocking up right now. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So and I'll we'll, I'll try to get my talking points out there as well. Hopefully that'll yeah. Pretty much the only thing that there's going to be a possible issue with is there may be some segments of shows that just won't have episodes. Yeah, like Newsday Tuesday, you know, we'll... But we'll we'll try to figure out some way to put something in there, you know, to fill that gap. Yeah. There should still be a video every single day. But that's all the channel news I got. Yeah, I mean, well, we also On have my the... End. Well, you want to talk about the store a little bit or you want to save that for later? Well, I was going to save it for later, but we can yeah. talk about it now. Um, I've already mentioned it in a couple of videos that we, you know, of course we have the store and there's t-shirts and other stuff is coming, you know. Yeah. Merchandise is coming. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be here. It's huge. <laughs> but um, one of the things that we got out is an iPhone 6 case. Which looks pretty awesome. And I bought one. And that's what it looks like. 
Yeah. Uh, the only thing I have bad to say about it is that there's no screen protector. You know, that's just a regular iPhone screen, but it's pretty resilient, you know. I, <laughs> I trust it. <laughs> Go ahead and turn on your iPhone real quick. Let's make sure it's still working. It's still there. It's still working. So... Yeah, I I knew it was going to continue to work. I just had to be funny like that. But, so. You know, that's on the store. Um, we've mentioned it before. We don't really mark the prices up too terribly high. Yeah, we're that right now is selling for twenty seven dollars. That, that's a good price for a phone case too. I think we only make two dollars off of it. Yeah, see, so that twenty seven dollars right there that that's a good price for a phone case like that. Yeah, you can't find. I mean, especially one that you can use as a hammer. You know, <laughs> you can't find very many. Hard we shell cases. A warning here, you know, do, do not, not use, use a phone as a hammer. Yeah. But, you know, for $27, that's a hard plastic case. And it's made out of pure elephant ivory. No, 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 it's not. No, no, don't. You know, it's hard to find yeah. a case for $27 that's, you know, this This is hard rubber. Yeah. You can get those soft rubber cases for like 20 bucks. So yeah. For seven more dollars, you can get something that'll actually protect your phone. Yeah. At least to an extent. And maybe once I can finally afford to get a good phone, you know, might end up grabbing me one like that eventually. Well, we've got more phone cases launching soon. Um, also, we're working on some computer stuff, too, so... Yeah, I know I've been with the design team about... Uh, I think the 5 Series, for like the, the 5, the 5S, and the 5C. Yeah. I think those are going to be launching this week. Nice, nice. I don't know if we're going to do the 4 series, because that's, you know, that's, yeah, that's three generations ago now. Yeah, it's something that hardly anybody's using uh, now. So, And there will be a 6 plus case. I mean, if you're, if you're hopefully later this week as you well. You know, if anybody really wants it, and we see a real big demand for it, maybe we might go to it, but I don't foresee that right now. Um. Anyway, you ready to move on to... Yeah, you, the, you've got a pretty interesting find. Yeah, so anyway... I might it, have to drop some dollar dollars. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, in recent news, you know, like like we said, news news has been kind of slow this week. You know, we have the, we could go into the Kojima Konami facts here, but that's just so confusing right now. I don't feel like getting involved I, I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah. I'm, we, I'm, we said our piece last week. Yeah, I'm not. Let's wait until it resolves. Yeah, I, it's, it's so confusing right now, I don't feel like talking about it, but I just wanted to throw that out there in case you were interested. And but, the information is changing pretty much every hour. On yeah, the hour, every so. day, every day they're throwing out. Well, he's part of the team. He's not part of the team. Okay, we're not talking yeah, about we're, that. We're just going to stop right there. Yeah. So anyway, Square Enix, you know, they're known for their video games, but did you know they also make the action figures? Well, I mean, it stands to reason that they would have their own merchandise line for, like, you know. I know I've seen Tifa dolls and all that. Yeah, I mean, are they undressable? I don't know. Are the titties still kind of like pyramids? Yeah, they're still doing, doing. Turkey's done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's that's our long running gag here at TOC is Tifa's titties. Well, I'm sure everybody that's ever played Final Fantasy yeah. VII understands. Yeah, in fact, TOC could also stand for Tifa's own chest. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, Square Enix recently just announced that they are going, you know, that they're going to be making action figures for the Star Wars series. Right now they've got three of them, they got three out which will set you back set you back about $108. And how does Disney feel about this? Uh I guess they approved it cuz it's a uh, it's the Star Wars variant play art Kai line. That, that was a mouthful for me to try to read <laughs> off and say at the same time. Sorry. Um Basically, the you know each figure they got right now: Boba Fett, a stormtrooper, and Darth Vader. You know you might see the Boba Fett one, which is my personal favorite. I mean they've they've got all kinds of different little details here. I mean it's carved out looking. It looks a lot different than what it did in the movie. I mean they they've basically taken this back, battle worn it, and made it look very well. It's like, anime ish. <laughs> so to speak. But, um, I like it. It looks really amazing. So... Yeah, it's just pure speculation on this, but... How cool would it be if... 
Disney and Square have struck a deal, and there'll be a new Star Wars esque Final Fantasy type game. That would be pretty cool. I mean, think about it. They have struck deals before. Kingdom Hearts was one of their biggest yeah combinations. So I mean, it's not like they're not new to each other. They've they've been working with each other for a while. So this is going to be pretty good. I mean, that that's pure speculation. I mean, we have no news or word that. There's any type of game development and play, yeah. but you know we have been that, right before. That would be um, that. That would be another one of those here take my money type yeah. things. So about one hundred and eight dollars per action figure. That that'd be something I'll put on the back burner because you know me being a Boba Fett nerd and Star Wars nerd in general, I won't probably get all three, <laughs> but I'll go for the one I like. Yeah, I mean they've also like I said they've got Darth Vader and uh, the Stormtrooper. If you wanted to add pictures later. Yeah, scroll down to the Stormtrooper. I want to see what that one looks like. That's the Stormtrooper. They're going with that... I mean, he looks like he's angry. Yeah, he's, he's pretty beefy. I mean, that's actually what a Stormtrooper, in my opinion, should look like. You know, because his muscles are so big that he can't really shoot the gun well. <laughs> well, that would explain why he misses. Yeah. But yeah. how about... how about, I'll throw all three of those pictures up. How about Darth Vader's lightsaber there? I mean, they've got the I motion. have no comment on Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader's I'll like, look at my wang. I'll tell you what I want to say about that when the camera's off. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's going hand in hand with the announcement of the new uh, Battlefront uh, trailer. Have you seen the Battlefront trailer yet? Nope. Well, that's also it'll it'll be on the uh, link with this uh, with the action yeah, figures. Yeah, we'll link all that. It's actually right there in, in the same page. But basically, they show a battle on Hoth. Oh, that's original. Yeah, it, it's going to tie in with that. So that's that. Um, you ready to talk about your Halo news yet, or do you want me to go on to my next one? Well, I mean, it's not really news. The only thing news-related is uh, we have a confirmed date for the release of Halo 5 The Guardians, which will be coming out on October 27th, later this year, which I feel like is kind of an odd date. But I also feel like it probably ties in somehow. Yeah. Because, like, usually Halo games come out in November. Yeah. And, like, there's always a Call of Duty game, like, around November 15th. And Halo games would come out the week before. Yeah. So that's so, actually pretty interesting sounding. But as far as the other stuff goes, you know, we've got the uh, Hunt the Truth trailers that came out. And uh, I'll probably link both of those. One is from Spartan Locke's perspective. One's from Master Chief's perspective. Yeah. And I won't ruin them, but I don't like... I've said this before. I do not like the whole Spartan Locke hunting Master Chief and yeah. calling him a traitor and all that. Yeah, I've, I've always thought that Master Chief really was. And I've got a buddy of mine, and this is... He is livid about it. I yeah. Mean, I woke up this morning, he tagged me in, you know, the trailer stuff. Yeah. And he was like, you know, it was fucking bullshit. You know, Master I mean, Chief's a hero. He's not a traitor. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he pretty much feels exactly the same that I do about it. Yeah. Um, from a more neutral standpoint, I'm trying to look at it as maybe... Like we had talked about earlier today, you know, I kind of get the feeling that this might possibly be like a choose-your-own-route game up until like the final mission in the campaign where they come together and it's like, oh, that's why you thought I was this? And from the other perspective, oh, I was totally fucking wrong. Let's hope Let, Let's case. work together and, you know, now, what would knock piss, this guy out. What would piss me off is if they kill off Chief. I... I don't see how they can do that, because... I mean, he's been Halo. Well, I mean, this is supposed to be the second trilogy. Yeah. How are you going to do Halo 6 without Master Chief? Exactly. I mean, are you just going to have him come back as, like, a Jedi spirit ghost or something? Um, and I, I don't have confirmation on this, but there was question on whether Cortana would be in Halo 5. But I've gotten word that Cortana does have some significance to Halo 5. And that there has been vocals recorded for her. Awesome. That'll be great to hear. So, I don't know if it'll be like a flashback or she 
will be a full main character again or what, but that's pretty much all I got for that. All right. Well, I've got a couple more news news articles here. Um, one of them is that Dead or Alive 5 recently was released for the PC. I, I want to say within the past couple of weeks on Steam. Yeah, apparently they pulled a straight-up Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it's not a... I mean, there's a lot of stuff they've taken out of there. There's two levels. Let's see, that's the Danger Zone and the Crimson. There's also the fact that there's no online play. You know how much that pisses people off whenever you have a fighter game that you can't play against <laughs> anybody with? That's a little worse than launching an unfinished game where there are no fucking faces. Yeah. Seen that before. Um, there are no achievements. There's no Steam Cloud supported. And then there's no... Uh, a couple of other small things that I really don't see a problem with, but a lot of fans are going to say... Oh, well, you know, the P the graphics are PS3 quality and not PS4, or Xbox 360 quality and not Xbox One quality. Stuff like that honestly does not make a difference. Yeah, to me, to it, me it, for you to be able to tell the difference between a PS4 and a PS3, you would have to have it zoomed in to the point where you can see each individual pixel. And at that point, you're going to be so far in that, like, if you were looking at my phone like that, you would see, like, the one little pixel of the bottom of the triangle. That would take up the entire yeah, screen. Yeah, I mean, that's that's all the difference there. So, I mean, you know, I know Team Ninja is trying to get the best the best they can get out in a hurry. But at the same time... Well, do they have plans to fix it? Are they going to patch I it later? Don't, I mean, I don't really see anything in the article that says that. But... I mean, when you when you release the full product to your consoles and then give the PC users this, that's basically saying, oh, PC users, we thought of you, but we didn't think of you as much as we thought of the console users. Well, I mean, that seems to be a trend that's been going on, not necessarily against PCs, but let's just release unfinished games. Yeah. Or let's do exclusive content for this one that we know is going to piss off every other console. User. Yeah. I mean, it's... And then, like, I cannot remember which game I was about to reference, but it was released on one system with a certain amount of content that was not going to be available for any other system. And fans of the own system made such a big fucking deal about it yeah. that they ended up releasing it to the other ones. Like, this is straight up not fair. We... You know, we shouldn't be the only ones to get to have this. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, I know you as fans... I don't think developers understand that, that, yeah. you know... Trust me, I've got friends... I, I'm, I'm an Xbox guy. Yeah. But he's a PlayStation guy. And, I've but, got a, and I have a friend that's a PC guy. But... In fact, my friend that actually made an appearance on Talking Points, Brandon... Yeah. He's a huge PC guy. I mean, this guy was showing me games yesterday that makes me want to get that awesome PC so I can sit there and play these... Small games like that, they're really awesome. But, you know, we don't be all like, oh, well, I, I get Halo on Xbox, and all and you I get is fucking Little Big Planet. Screw yeah. you, nah. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I could be the same you way. Know, we're, we're all on each other's side. We yeah. look out for each other, you know. I mean, we're... I go to his house, play Little Big Planet, he comes over here and plays Halo. Yeah, or, you know, back when I had God of War, you know, that was... Yeah. You'd come over there and watch, watch me, you know, titty fuck a couple of women, <laughs> you know. that was That's always kind of funny, you know, but... But, I mean... That, that's the way it is pretty much throughout the entire gaming community. There are some douchebags that are like, PC is God, and yeah, Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo <laughs> are just inferior. Well, you know, we, we can sit there and go on to that, but, you know, X, let's, let's not throw Nintendo in there with, you know, Maybe Xbox and PlayStation. Bus. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, um, it, it is kind of... I mean, come you on, know, when, you, when you just basically give yourself a tablet and call it the Wii U, <laughs> it's not new. But developers need to understand that, you know. Yeah. Sorry, Nintendo fans. We're we're not as vindictive as they think we are towards each other. Exactly. I mean, we really... I mean, how awesome would it be, like, five or ten years down the road to have Xbox versus PlayStation... Or not versus, but, you know, connectivity to, where, to the point where... Literally, like, we play Call of Duty. Yeah. Across platforms? Yeah. Yeah. I'd... Cross platform really needs to happen. Yeah. But, 
That's probably enough about that. Uh, the only other big news that we could come across is... Apparently, everybody in the television community is in nostalgia mode right now. Yeah, well, this is a big victory. Yeah. I mean, let's talk, let's talk about the fact that there's a new DuckTales coming out. You know, life is like a hurricane. Me and you remember that from our yep. childhood. There's Inspector Gadget, which they just released on Netflix. I'm kind of on the fence about that yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, go, go, you know, go, 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 Gadget Penis, you know. Let's, <laughs> let's hope that doesn't pop out. Um, then there's uh, my personal favorite, which is coming out, The X-Files. Yes! I mean, growing up as a kid, I remember sitting down every Sunday with my dad, and we'd, like, be glued to the TV, mom would come in, all right, you need to go take a bath. You'd hear my dad, fuck it, he can wait. <laughs> you know, that was that was the epitome of our Sunday night, was sitting down watching X-Files. I mean, and then there was, when the movies came out, my dad and his brother, you know, we'd, we'd always go over there for small events, but when the movies came out, all of us crammed together because all of us... It was like a just, Super Bowl party? Oh, yeah, it was better than a Super Bowl party. I'll take it one step further. I actually read the books. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. I read. But, yeah, you were always reading books. I was more no, like... No, I wasn't. I hate books. Well, you you read more of the Star Wars books than I did. That was true. I read and, books that mattered. Yeah, like Halo and... Screwball and Peace. Yeah. Josh didn't read Crime and Punishment. He read <laughs> Master Chief, the definitive collection. I read, uh, you know, the Star Wars... Uh, I've been trying to find the... Or trying to read the Star Wars uh, Shakespeare things. Have you seen those? No. The Empire Striketh Back. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny that they've got that stuff out there. It's actually written in Shakespearean English, so... Nice. I'm kind of tempted to read those just to see how it matches up. But back to the X-Files show. It's apparently coming back with a... Uh, are they doing a whole season? Uh, they're going to be doing about 13 episodes from what I'm reading here, and it's... I, I mean, that's... I think that was about a, about half of... What the seasons used to run. Yeah, the seasons were like 20, 21 episodes. 21 episodes, yeah. So, I mean, that's really a big deal. I mean, like I said, all three of these shows, me and Josh kind of grew up on. Not so much Inspector Gadget, because I was like... It just sucks. He had it. a go-go gadget, everything, like I said. <laughs> he had a telescope, but we won't tell you where what part of the uh, <laughs> trench coat that came out from under. It just sucks that we have to wait until possibly next year. Yeah, I mean... This X-Files reboot. Um... However, it's going to have David Duchovny as Agent Mulder again. Gillian Anderson and her fine MILF self. Mm. God, I... Mm. You know... Oh, uh, yeah. Then you know what's weird? What's that? She looks even hotter now than she did back in the day. Yeah, I mean... Gillian Anderson was like, like my... Like, she ages in reverse or yeah, something. Yeah, she was my Hollywood crush back then, even even before my PP could get hard. <laughs> Word. Yeah. I'd sit there and say, I want to make babies with her, and Dad was like, that's my boy. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's that's the big news for today. I mean, like I said, it seems like Hollywood's gotten a, a big nostalgia mode right now, so. Yeah, now if only Nintendo could come off of their throne and be like, oh, you know what? We unconfirmed the wrong thing. There will be a Netflix Legend of Zelda series, but. And you know, it would be funny if they uh, if Link would come out in the first episode. Zelda would say something to him. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Let's never visit that era again. I, I like that cartoon. That was actually a fun cartoon. I used to run around with my little, you know, purple McDonald's knife, and pretend like I was Link. I had a little scope bottle that was empty. My mom had filled it with water and told me I could be. That was my potion. <laughs> been kind of bad if she left that thing full, you know. Yeah. Uh, one thing I was kind of looking forward to from that possibility was. Them keeping Link as kind of the semi-silent protagonist type. <laughs> and, Where are you going? And, and just doing the um, like the Nintendo sixty four era. Yeah. Sound bits. What? Link, you must go and defeat Gandor. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Ha! 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 Or what would have been funny is like, Where are you? <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? What are you doing, my chicken? Listen. Yeah. Listen. That would annoy the fuck out of me. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I, th I, yeah! believe, I believe that's about all the news we have for today. Yeah. 
I'm kind of interested to see how that's going. So, Josh, do you want to read off our list of... Yeah, let's knock out the game releases this week and wrap this up. Uh, first on the list, we've got MLB 15, the show, because fucking everybody loves baseball. You yeah. know. They totally need to make 15 of these games. Yeah, so apparently that's a it's a big deal on the PlayStation. I've got a lot of friends that play it, but... Yeah, it's apparently going to be a PlayStation I can't more or less exclusive. It's going to be out on a PS4, PS3, and the Vita. Yeah. Vita, Vita. The Vita. The thing that you should just not even purchase. Yeah, uh, tap the back. <laughs> uh, they have Neverwinter coming out on the X-Bone. That seems like that would be interesting. I don't know. I, don't... I might pick it up when I grab the Xbox yeah. one. Uh, we got the Ultimate Stealth Triple Pack coming on PS3 and Xbox 360. Whatever the hell that is. That's stealth. It's it's. If I'm thinking of, if I'm thinking the game that it is, is this? It looks like a little Funko Pop that runs around and does stealth missions. That doesn't sound entertaining. It's actually kind of fun. There's Paperbound coming for the PS4, PC. Don't quite know what that's about. Me neither. Uh, Story of Seasons, pretty much your only title coming to the 3DS this week, <laughs> as always. <laughs> Well, last week we didn't even have a 3DS entry. Yeah. And last thing uh, coming out on the PC is the Sims 4 Get to Work expansion pack. You know, it's funny how they named their expansion packs. Get to Work. Yeah, it's like they're trying to get a message out there or something. Yeah. So anyway, that's, that's all the releases we have. Yeah, it's just been a slow week all together. Yeah. So hopefully we get some more news coming out this week. Maybe, maybe they'll finally settle the Koji Konami dispute. Maybe not. Oh! Um, uh, I can't remember where I saw it, but there's also rumors that the Oculus Rift will be for retail sale later this year. I've oh, that'll to, be awesome. I've tried to find that and put that in the description as some I can of, find it again. You know, some of our fellow YouTubers have been playing with those things. I'll tell you yeah. right now, they look amazing. So it's about time to wrap this up. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And leave a comment below if you have any opinions on what we've talked about today. You can also uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links for those will be in the description below. And also check out our awesome merch shop. Contains merch shop phone case. Yeah, contains awesome items like the phone case, some sweatshirts, and we may have a few new designs coming in. Yeah, coming up with some funny stuff. So also stay tuned to the channel and make sure you watch some of our newer videos coming out this week. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Yeah, we got a we had a new one yesterday, a new series yesterday that we started. Make sure you watch that; it's very funny. We give Misty a hard time as always. And uh, anyway, I believe that about does it for this episode. Yep. Catch you in the next one. Yep.